Good afternoon. This is Mr. Priscilla, and today we're going to be working on the review for the Math 1314 final exam. The first problem is to simplify this fraction. We'll start off by looking at the square root of negative 20. Because there's a negative under the square root symbol, that means there's going to be an I in our answer. So I'll just go ahead and write down I. And then we need to simplify the square root of 20. Well, the only perfect square other than 1, of course, that divides evenly into 20 is a 4. So we can think of this as square root of 4 times the square root of 5. And then simplifying all of that, the square root of 4 is a 2. I'm going to write it in standard form, putting the i between the 2 and the square root of 5. So let me recopy this, replacing that square root with 2i square root of 5. And then put both of these terms over the 24 and reduce each one of these fractions. So the negative 8 over 24, that's a negative 1 third. 8 goes into 24 three times. 2 goes into 24 12. So plus i square root of 5 all over 12. So I'll type in negative 1 over 3, right arrow to get out of that fraction, plus i square root of 5 all over 12. I'll check my answer. And move on to the next question. Next question. Okay, multiply these two complex numbers. 6 plus 5i times 2 minus 9i. 6 plus 5i times 2 minus 9i. Oh, I hope this ink is going to show. I shouldn't have used, been using that. 6 plus 5i times 2 minus 9i. We'll foil this out and replace the i squared with negative 1 before we combine the like terms. So we'll have a 12 minus 54i. Then a plus 10i and a minus 45i times i is i squared. But we got to replace that i squared with the negative 1, which is just going to change this minus 45 to a plus 45. So now combining our like terms, 12 and a plus 45 is 57. Negative 54 plus 10 is a negative 44i. So 57 minus 44i. 57 minus 44i. Problem number three. Solve this equation using the quadratic formula. 2x squared plus 6x equals 5. 2x squared plus 6x equals 5.
Well, here, in order to use the quadratic formula, you have to have a zero on one side. So I'm going to move that five over. So two x squared plus six x and a minus five equals zero. So a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, c is negative five. <coughs> oh, pardon me, I'm just coming off of a fairly serious illness. So, um, sorry about that. Let me write down the quadratic formula. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's see. In place of the b, I'm going to put a 6. So we have negative 6 plus minus the square root of b squared, 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times a times c, a is 2, and c is negative 5, all over 2 times a, well we can certainly do that in our head, 2 times 2 is 4, Let's simplify underneath the square root. The negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times a negative um, 5 is a positive 40. So we have 36 plus 40. Or square root of 76. If you doubted that, you can always punch that into your calculator. Oh, let me clear all of that off. 36 minus, oops, minus 4 times 2 times a negative 5. Okay, now square root of 36. Well, any perfect squares divide into 36. 4 doesn't. 9 doesn't. If 4 doesn't, 16 doesn't. 25 doesn't. What did I hear? 36? I don't think 36 does. You're thinking 72. So, uh, no, square root of 76 can't be simplified. So we'll just write our answer as negative 6 plus minus square root of 76 all over 4. Since we can't simplify the square root of 76, we can't simplify this answer here. I suppose if you wanted to break it up, you could, but I think it's probably easiest just to leave it as negative 6 plus minus square root of 76 all over 4. Oops, wrong screen, problem 3. Oh, also, let me get this out of the way. It's a fraction. Negative 6 plus minus the square root of 76 all over 4. Number 4, solve this equation. 